Hey everybody, this is Howard at howardfromgeorgia.com. Hope you're doing well today. And uh, this is not a product review. This uh, video is actually a tutorial. And uh, earlier today, I published a post on the website at howardfromgeorgia.com in the how to section. And I'll, sh I'll, sh I'll share my screen with you. I'm going to swap screens so it may go blank just for a moment here in that process. This deals with email addresses being uh, displayed on your website. And it also deals with the use of a contact form. So in the post, I explain why it might be a good idea for you to use a contact form. Um, basically, if you have an um, uh, email address, the bots can come through and crawl your site, um, and you may start receiving spammy type of email in your, e in your inbox. So to help uh, prevent that, there's a way to use a contact form, and contact form 7 is the one I use, and I made a separate video earlier. Um, I would just, uh, I'll direct you to that video. It's, it's actually on the website, howardfromgeorgia.com, and in the how-to section, just click there. And it's the most recent post, so it shows up here at the top. And uh, I'll try to uh, play it here and see what the quality is like. In this video, we'll take a look at installing Contact Form 7. Once logged into your WordPress administrative area, you'll want to click Installed Plugins. And this will show you a listing of all the plugins you have, just to make sure uh, it's not already installed and perhaps just not activated. Once you scroll through the list and you're looking for contact form seven and it's not there, then you would click at the top for plugins, add new. All right, then I'll come over to the right side where it says search plugins. And I'm going to type in contact form seven. And I've done that for four on this computer. And I'll press enter. And here's contact form seven. There are other contact forms that you can use. This is a popular one, and I choose to use it for what I'm doing. So I'll click the button, and you can get more details here. Uh, but I'm going to click the button to install. You can read that more details. Okay, then just like any other plugin that you'll install, it, it gives you the status down here and it has successfully installed Contact Form 7. And then I'll click Activate Plugin. <clears throat> now that that's been activated, it, it appears in our list of plugins. And I'll select settings. You'll see in the center of your screen, contact form one, uh, number one is listed. Uh, this is still contact form seven, but it's your first form. And you can edit that form simply by clicking the edit button. And if we look down here in the form, these are the fields that will be uh, presented to the visitor for them to uh, fill out. And instead of putting your name, you may choose not to collect a name, but instead of uh, saying enter your name, I want to do first name. And that way when I'm selecting how to personalize my autoresponder messages, I can put the tag in there so it will say, hello, Sam, or hello, Betty. Uh, if I don't specify first name here, someone may enter their first 
and last name, and then it would say, hello, Betty Jones. And that just doesn't sound normal. It sounds machine generated. And a lot of people don't know that it's a automatic or a, or a generated message. They really think you're writing to them individually. And that's what we want to do. And then I'll also drop right below it in this uh, bracket area and I'll type in first hyphen so that it reads your first name. Uh, this is what will be displayed. And I just wanted this to match. And then you can choose to have subject field, which I did, and then the, the body of the message, and then the send button says send. And if I type submit or anything else to here, that's what would show, but send is fine for me. So before I do anything else, I will come over here and click the save button. All right, that's the first part of what we need to do to generate a contact form. Let's scroll down to the next section that says mail. This is where we want the system to send the information for our contact form when the person fills it out. So in this case, I put Howard at howardfromgeorgia.com because that's where I want this email to go to. This from is the short code from what we created above with your first name. So I want to make sure I've edited this below here to say your hyphen first hyphen name within those brackets. And then this pulls your email address from above also. We didn't edit that. And then the subject, that's the shortcut for the subject. And I didn't change anything else over here. Um, I did put it here from, and then the brackets, I inserted the first name or for the your hyphen first hyphen name because it only said your name to begin with. So I changed that just like I did above. And when we're finished with that, click save. And scrolling down again below mail there are other there are messages here uh, these will be the subjects of a future tutorial so I, I didn't do anything uh, to these yet but you will see that uh, when you test this out as I have uh, previously when I click the send button after filling out the contact form as if I'm the visitor I get the message at the bottom of that form that says your message was sent successfully. Thanks. So if, if, if I wanted to change that, I could say your message was sent. I will return. I will reply usually within 24 to 48 hours or whatever I wanted to say. I can edit this. And once I do, always remember to scroll up and click save. So just to make sure I'm going to click save there. Now I'll go over off screen to my email account, open up the message I received, and you can see that uh, this did arrive from, I filled it out as new test as my name, and the subject was new test message, and this is the email address that I entered that I was sending it from, and then my brief message, and then the uh, note to me that tells me this message, this email message was sent from a contact form on my site name. And I, I didn't, in the settings, I didn't change this to uh, be specific to the site. This was just for demo purposes uh, for the tutorial. Now that I have that form generated, edited, set up, and tested, I will now 
make sure that at the top of my site, top of my page here, there's an option for someone to click contact me. So I'll go and create a new page. First, before I do, I'm going to grab that short code and I'll copy that to my clipboard. Then I'll go to create a new page. And whatever I want the page to read at the top of the contact form, I will enter here. And I'm going to say, contact me. Very original. And I'll paste that short code here. And simply come over to save draft. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and publish that so I can create the menu item in the next step. I could have previewed it before I published it, but just to save a little bit of time here. And now to create the menu item so that, that there will be a tab at the top, I will come to Appearance and Menus and click Menus. Now that my page was published, it shows here in the list of pages. And this is the, the menu structure. You can see home, monthly newsletter, recipe analyzer. All those appear across horizontally here. That's where I want my contact form to be. So I simply check, contact me, click the button here that says add to menu. And if I wanted that to appear right next to my home tab, I could do that. But I prefer to have it the last one to the right. Always remember to click Save Menu. And then I'll go back to my site and I'll refresh. And here is the contact me. I click that and I'm taken to the form. And I would recommend you test this again and send it and then verify that you receive it in the email account that you're expecting and that the layout of the message is uh, what you have set it up to be. I believe that covers just about everything we needed to get started with Contact Form 7. But if you do have questions, simply email those to me. You can use either the Contact Me tab on my other site, howardfromgeorgia.com, or you can email me direct at howard at howardfromgeorgia.com. So until next time, I'll leave it here. Thanks, and we'll see you later. All right, and that seems like a good place to break this uh, this video uh, as well. So I, I'm not sure how the quality on that playback will be in this particular uh, video. So if, if you can hear it well or if you can't see the screen well, please just hop on over to howardfromgeorgia.com, and that's where the original post and the video uh, can be found. So until next time, uh, this is Howard saying so long.